In Einstein's theory of general relativity, the Schwarzschild metric also known as the Schwarzschild vacuum or Schwarzschild solution is the solution to the Einstein field equations that describes the gravitational field outside a spherical mass, on the assumption that the electric charge of the mass, angular momentum of the mass, and universal cosmological constant are all zero. The solution is a useful approximation for describing slowly rotating astronomical objects such as many stars and planets, including Earth and the Sun. The solution is named after Karl Schwarzschild, who first published the solution in 1916. According to Birkhoff's theorem, the Schwarzschild metric is the most general spherically symmetric vacuum solution of the Einstein field equations. A Schwarzschild black hole or static black hole is a black hole that has neither electric charge nor angular momentum. A Schwarzschild black hole is described by the Schwarzschild metric, and cannot be distinguished from any other Schwarzschild black hole except by its mass. The Schwarzschild black hole is characterized by a surrounding spherical boundary, called the event horizon, which is situated at the Schwarzschild radius, often called the radius of a black hole. The boundary is not a physical surface, and if a person fell through the event horizon before being torn apart by tidal forces, they would not notice any physical surface at that position. It is a mathematical surface which is significant in determining the black hole's properties. Any non-rotating and non-charged mass that is smaller than its Schwarzschild radius forms a black hole. The solution of the Einstein field equations is valid for any mass m, so in principle according to general relativity theory a Schwarzschild black hole of any mass could exist if conditions became sufficiently favorable to allow for its formation. The Schwarzschild metric In Schwarzschild coordinates, with signature minus 1, 1, 1, 1, the line element for the Schwarzschild metric has the form minus c 2 d tau 2 equals minus 1 minus r s r c 2 d t 2 plus 1 minus r s r minus 1 d r 2 plus r 2 d theta 2 plus sin 2 theta D phi two display style c caret two d tau caret two equals left one frac r underscore mathrm s r right c caret two d t caret two plus left one frac r underscore mathrm s r right caret minus one doctor caret two plus r caret two left d theta caret two plus sin caret two theta d var phi caret two right where when d tau 2 is positive, tau is the proper time time measured by a clock moving along the same world line with the test particle. c is the speed of light. t is the time coordinate measured by a stationary clock located infinitely far from the massive body. r is the radial coordinate measured as the circumference, divided by 2 pi, of a sphere centered around the massive body. theta is the collatitude angle from north, in units of radians. Phi is the longitude also in radians, and Rs is the Schwarzschild radius of the massive body, a scale factor which is related to its mass m by Rs equals 2 gm, c2, where g is the gravitational constant. The analog of this solution in classical Newtonian theory of gravity corresponds to the gravitational field around a point particle. The radial coordinate turns out to have physical significance as the proper distance between two events that occur simultaneously relative to the radially moving geodesic clocks, the two events lying on the same radial coordinate line." In practice, the ratio rs, r is almost always extremely small. For example, the Schwarzschild radius rs of the Earth is roughly 8.9 mm, while the Sun, which is 3.3 times 105 times as massive has a Schwarzschild radius of approximately 3.0 km. Even at the surface of the Earth, the corrections to Newtonian gravity are only one part in a billion. 
The ratio becomes large only in relatively close proximity to black holes and other ultra dense objects such as neutron stars. The Schwarzschild metric is a solution of Einstein's field equations in empty space, meaning that it is valid only outside the gravitating body. That is, for a spherical body of radius r, the solution is valid for r greater than r to describe the gravitational field both inside and outside the gravitating body. The Schwarzschild solution must be matched with some suitable interior solution at r equals r, such as the interior Schwarzschild metric. Topic: History. The Schwarzschild solution is named in honor of Karl Schwarzschild, who found the exact solution in 1915 and published it in January 1916, a little more than a month after the publication of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It was the first exact solution of the Einstein field equations other than the trivial flat space solution. Schwarzschild died shortly after his paper was published, as a result of a disease he contracted while serving in the German army during World War I. Johannes Drost in 1916 independently produced the same solution as Schwarzschild, using a simpler, more direct derivation. In the early years of general relativity, there was a lot of confusion about the nature of the singularities found in the Schwarzschild and other solutions of the Einstein field equations. In Schwarzschild's original paper, he put what we now call the event horizon at the origin of his coordinate system. In this paper he also introduced what is now known as the Schwarzschild radial coordinate R in the equations above, as an auxiliary variable. In his equations, Schwarzschild was using a different radial coordinate that was zero at the Schwarzschild radius. A more complete analysis of the singularity structure was given by David Hilbert in the following year, identifying the singularities both at R0 and RRS. Although there was general consensus that the singularity at R0 was a genuine physical singularity, the nature of the singularity at RRS remained unclear. In 1921, Paul Payne Levé and in 1922, Alvar Gullstrand independently produced a metric, a spherically symmetric solution of Einstein's equations, which we now know as coordinate transformation of the Schwarzschild metric, Gullstrand Payne Levé coordinates, in which there was no singularity at R0 RS. They, however, did not recognize that their solutions were just coordinate transforms, and in fact used their solution to argue that Einstein's theory was wrong. In 1924 Arthur Eddington produced the first coordinate transformation Eddington-Finkelstein coordinates that showed that the singularity at RRS was a coordinate artifact, although he also seems to have been unaware of the significance of this discovery. Later, in 1932, Georges Lemaitre gave a different coordinate transformation Lemaitre coordinates to the same effect and was the first to recognize that this implied that the singularity at R topic RS was not physical. In 1939 Howard Robertson showed that a free-falling observer descending in the Schwarzschild metric would cross the RRS singularity in a finite amount of proper time even though this would take an infinite amount of time in terms of coordinate time t. In 1950, John Singh produced a paper that showed the maximal analytic extension of the Schwarzschild metric, again showing that the singularity at R topic RS was a coordinate artifact and that it represented two horizons. A similar result was later rediscovered by George Schiekers, and independently Martin Kruskal. The new coordinates nowadays known as kruskal schiekers coordinates were much simpler than Singh's but both provided a single set of coordinates that covered the entire spacetime. However, perhaps due to the obscurity of the journals in which the papers of Lemaitre and Singh were published their conclusions went unnoticed, with many of the major players in the field including Einstein believing that singularity at the Schwarzschild radius was physical. Real progress was made in the 1960s when the more exact tools of differential geometry entered the field of general relativity, allowing more exact definitions of what it means for a Lorentzian manifold to be singular. This led to definitive identification of the RRS singularity in the Schwarzschild metric as an event horizon a hypersurface in space-time that can be crossed in only one direction. Topic singularities and black holes The Schwarzschild solution appears to have singularities at R0 and RRS. Some of the metric components blow up entail division by zero or division by infinity at these radii. Since the Schwarzschild metric is expected to be valid only for those radii larger than the radius r of the gravitating body, there is no problem as long as r greater than rs. For ordinary stars and planets this is always the case. For example, the radius of the Sun is approximately 700,000 km, while its Schwarzschild radius is only 3 km. 
The singularity at R topic RS divides the Schwarzschild coordinates in two disconnected patches. The exterior Schwarzschild solution with R greater than RS is the one that is related to the gravitational fields of stars and planets. The interior Schwarzschild solution with 0 R0, is completely separated from the outer patch by the singularity at R equals RS. The Schwarzschild coordinates therefore give no physical connection between the two patches, which may be viewed as separate solutions. The singularity at R RS is an illusion however, it is an instance of what is called a coordinate singularity. As the name implies, the singularity arises from a bad choice of coordinates or coordinate conditions. When changing to a different coordinate system for example Lemaitre coordinates, Eddington-Finkelstein coordinates, kruskal shikers coordinates, Novikov coordinates, or gulstrand painlevé coordinates the metric becomes regular at R. Rs and can extend the external patch to values of R smaller than Rs. Using a different coordinate transformation one can then relate the extended external patch to the inner patch, the case R equals zero is different, however. If one asks that the solution be valid for all R one runs into a true physical singularity, or gravitational singularity, at the origin. To see that this is a true singularity one must look at quantities that are independent of the choice of coordinates. One such important quantity is the Kreshman invariant, which is given by R alpha beta gamma delta R alpha beta gamma delta equals 12 R s 2 R 6 equals 48 G two M two C four R six Display style R carrot alpha beta gamma delta R underscore alpha beta gamma delta equals FRAC twelve R underscore mathem S carrot two R carrot six equals FRAC forty eight G carrot two M carrot two C carrot four R carrot six at r equals zero the curvature becomes infinite, indicating the presence of a singularity. At this point the metric, and spacetime itself, is no longer well defined. For a long time it was thought that such a solution was non-physical. However, a greater understanding of general relativity led to the realization that such singularities were a generic feature of the theory and not just an exotic special case. The Schwarzschild solution, taken to be valid for all r greater than zero, is called a Schwarzschild black hole. It is a perfectly valid solution of the Einstein field equations, although it has some rather bizarre properties. For r topic alternative coordinates the Schwarzschild solution can be expressed in a range of different choices of coordinates besides the Schwarzschild coordinates used above. Different choices tend to highlight different features of the solution. The table below shows some popular choices. In table above, some shorthand has been introduced for brevity. The speed of light c has been set to 1. The notation d omega 2 equals d theta 2 plus sin 2 theta d phi 2 display style d omega caret 2 equals d theta caret 2 plus sin caret 2 theta d var phi caret 2 is used for the metric of a two-dimensional sphere. Moreover, in each entry r and t denote alternative choices of radial and time coordinate for the particular coordinates. Note, the R and or T may vary from entry to entry. Topic flams paraboloid The spatial curvature of the Schwarzschild solution for R greater than reservations can be visualized as the graphic shows. Consider a constant time equatorial slice through the Schwarzschild solution, theta topic pi, 2, t constant and let the position of a particle moving in this plane be described with the remaining Schwarzschild coordinates R, phi. Imagine now that there is an additional Euclidean dimension W, which has no physical reality it is not part of space-time. Then replace the R, phi plane with a surface dimpled in the W direction according to the equation Flam's paraboloid. W equals 2 R S R minus R S Displaced style w equals two sqrt r underscore mathrm s left r r underscore mathrm s right. 
This surface has the property that distances measured within it match distances in the Schwarzschild metric, because with the definition of W above d w 2 plus d r 2 plus r 2 d phi 2 equals minus c 2 d tau 2 equals d r 2 1 minus r s r plus r 2 d phi 2 Display style dw carrot two plus dr carrot two plus r carrot two d varphi carrot two equals c carrot two d tau carrot two equals frac doctor carrot two one frac r underscore mathrm s r plus r carrot two d varphi carrot two. Thus, Flam's paraboloid is useful for visualizing the spatial curvature of the Schwarzschild metric. It should not, however, be confused with a gravity well. No ordinary massive or massless particle can have a world line lying on the paraboloid, since all distances on it are spacelike this is a cross-section at one moment of time, so any particle moving on it would have an infinite velocity. Even a tachyon would not move along the path that one might naively expect from a rubber sheet analogy, in particular, if the dimple is drawn pointing upward rather than downward, the tachyon's path still curves toward the central mass, not away. See the Gravity Well article for more information. Flam's paraboloid may be derived as follows. The Euclidean metric in the cylindrical coordinates r, phi, w is written d s 2 equals d w 2 plus d r 2 plus r 2 d phi 2 display style ds caret 2 equals dw caret 2 plus dr caret 2 plus r caret 2 d var phi caret 2 letting the surface be described by the function w equals w r the euclidean metric can be written as d s 2 equals 1 plus d W D R two D R two plus R two D phi two Display style ds caret two equals left one plus left frac dw doctor right caret two right doctor caret two plus r caret two d var phi caret two Comparing this with the Schwarzschild metric in the equatorial plane theta topic pi two at a fixed time t constant dt equals zero d s two equals one minus r s R minus one d r two plus r two d phi two display style d s caret two equals left one frac r underscore mathrm s r right caret minus one doctor caret two plus r caret two d var phi caret two yields an integral expression for w r w r equals d r r r s minus one equals two r s r r s minus one plus constant display style w r equals int frac doctor s q r t frac r r underscore mathrm s minus one equals two r underscore mathrm s s q r t frac r r underscore mathrm s minus one plus m box constant whose solution is Flam's paraboloid. Topic orbital motion: A particle orbiting in the Schwarzschild metric can have a stable circular orbit with r greater than three rupees. Circular orbits with r between 1 rupee and 50 paise and 3 rupees are unstable, and no circular orbits exist for r. It is possible for a particle to have a constant value of r between r s and 1 rupee and 50 paise, but only if some force acts to keep it there. 
Noncircular orbits, such as Mercury's, dwell longer at small radii than would be expected classically. This can be seen as a less extreme version of the more dramatic case in which a particle passes through the event horizon and dwells inside it forever. Intermediate between the case of Mercury and the case of an object falling past the event horizon, there are exotic possibilities such as knife-edge orbits, in which the satellite can be made to execute an arbitrarily large number of nearly circular orbits, after which it flies back outward. Topic. Symmetries The group of isometries of the Schwarzschild metric is the subgroup of the ten-dimensional Poincaré group which takes the time axis trajectory of the star to itself. It omits the spatial translations three dimensions and boosts three dimensions. It retains the time translations one dimension and rotations three dimensions. Thus it has four dimensions. Like the Poincaré group, it has four connected components, the component of the identity, the time-reversed component, the spatial inversion component, and the component which is both time-reversed and spatially inverted. Topic. Curvatures The Ricci curvature scalar and the Ricci curvature tensor are both zero. Non-zero components of the Riemann curvature tensor are R T R R T equals two R theta R theta R equals two R phi R phi R equals R S R two R S minus R display style R caret T underscore R R T equals two R caret theta underscore R theta R equals two R caret phi underscore R phi R equals frac R underscore S R caret two R underscore S R two R T theta theta T equals two R R theta theta R equals R Phi theta Phi theta equals R S R Display style two R carrot T underscore theta theta T equals two R carrot R underscore theta theta R equals R carrot phi underscore theta phi theta equals FRAC R underscore S R two R T Phi Phi T equals two R R Phi Phi R equals minus R theta phi phi theta equals R S sin two theta R Display style two R carrot T underscore Phi Phi T equals two R carrot R underscore Phi Phi R equals R carrot theta underscore Phi Phi theta equals FRAC R underscore S sin carrot two theta R R R T R T equals minus two R theta T theta T equals minus two R Phi T Phi T equals C two R S R S minus R R four 
Display style r caret r underscore t r t equals two r caret theta underscore t theta t equals two r caret phi underscore t phi t equals c caret two frac r underscore s r underscore s r r caret four. Components which are obtainable by the symmetries of the Riemann tensor are not displayed. To understand the physical meaning of these quantities, it is useful to express the curvature tensor in an orthonormal basis. In an orthonormal basis of an observer the non-zero components in geometric units are r r caret t caret r caret t caret equals minus r theta caret phi caret theta caret phi caret equals minus r s r 3 Display style r caret hat r underscore hat t hat r hat t equals r caret hat theta underscore hat phi hat theta hat phi equals frac r underscore s r caret three r theta caret t caret theta caret t caret equals r Phi carrot T carrot Phi carrot T carrot equals minus R R carrot theta carrot R carrot theta carrot equals minus R R carrot phi carrot R carrot phi carrot equals R S two R three Display style r caret hat theta underscore hat t hat theta hat t equals r caret hat phi underscore hat t hat phi hat t equals r caret hat r underscore hat theta hat r hat theta equals r caret hat r underscore hat phi hat r hat phi equals frac r underscore s two r caret three. Again, components which are obtainable by the symmetries of the Riemann tensor are not displayed. These results are invariant to any Lorentz boost, thus the components do not change for non-static observers. The geodesic deviation equation shows that the tidal acceleration between two observers separated by she j caret display style she caret hat j is d two she j caret d Tau two equals minus R J carrot T carrot K carrot T carrot she K carrot Display style d carrot two she carrot hat j d tau carrot two equals r carrot hat j underscore hat t hat k hat t she carrot hat k. So a body of length l display style l is stretched in the radial direction by an apparent acceleration r s r three c two l Display style r underscore s r caret three c caret two l and squeezed in the perpendicular directions by minus r s two r three c two l display style r underscore s two r caret three c caret two l topic See also Deriving the Schwarzschild solution 
Reissner Nordstrom metric charged non-rotating solution Kerr metric uncharged rotating solution Kerr Newman metric charged rotating solution Black hole a general review Schwarzschild coordinates Kruskal Schieker's coordinates Eddington Finkelstein coordinates Gullstrand Painlevé coordinates Lemaitre coordinates Schwarzschild solution in synchronous coordinates Frame fields in general relativity Lemaitre observers in the Schwarzschild vacuum Talman Oppenheimer Volkoff equation metric and pressure equations of a static and spherically symmetric body of isotropic material Topic. Notes Topic. References Schwarzschild, K. Über das Gravitationsfeld eines Massenpunktes nach der Einsteinschen Theorie. Sitzungsbericht der Königlich Prussischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, 7 189 196. Bibcode, 1916 ABHKP 1916, 189S, text of the original paper, in Wikisource Translation, Antosi, S., Lowinger, A. On the gravitational field of a mass point according to Einstein's theory. Archive, Physics, 9905030. A commentary on the paper, giving a simpler derivation, Bell, L. Über das Gravitationsfeld eines Massenpunktenik der Einsteinschen Theorie. Archive, 0709. 2257. GRQC, Schwarzschild, K. Über das Gravitationsfeld einer Kugel aus inkompressibler Flüssigkeit. Sitzungsbericht der Königlich Prussischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, 1 424, text of the original paper, in Wikisource translation, Antosi, S. 1999. On the gravitational field of a sphere of incompressible fluid according to Einstein's theory, archive, physics, 9912033, Flam, L. 1916. Beatridge zur Einsteinschen Gravitationstheorie. Physikalische Zeitschrift, 17 448. Adler, R., Bazin, M., Schiffer, M. 1975. Introduction to General Relativity, 2nd ed. McGraw Hill. Chapter 6. ISBN 0 07 423 4. Landau, L. D., Lifshitz, E. M. 1951. The Classical Theory of Fields. Course of Theoretical Physics, 2 4th Revised English ed. Pergamon Press. Chapter 12. ISBN 0-08-025072-6. Misner, C. W., Thorne, K. S., Wheeler, J. A. 1970. Gravitation. W. H. Freeman. Chapters 31 and 32. ISBN 0-7167-0344-0. Weinberg, S. 1972. Gravitation and Cosmology, Principles and Applications of the General Theory of Relativity. John Wiley and Sons. Chapter 8. ISBN 0-471-92567-5. Taylor, E. F., Wheeler, J. A. 2000. Exploring Black Holes, Introduction to General Relativity. Addison Wesley. ISBN 0-201-38423-X. Heinzel, J. M., Steinbauer, R. 2002. Remarks on the Distributional Schwarzschild Geometry. Journal of Mathematical Physics. 43 3, 1493. Archive, GRQC, 0112047. Bibcode, 2002JMP, .43, 1493H. doi, 10.1063, 1.1448684.